Adobe Soundbooth CS4 makes it easy to combine individual audio clips into a single multi-track file. Here in Soundbooth I'm going to choose File, New, Multi-Track File. Out on my desktop I have three individual WAV files that I want to be able to mix together. Now I can either drag a clip into an existing track in Soundbooth like so, or I can take the other two clips here and just drag them into the blank area within the Soundbooth editor, and Soundbooth will automatically generate tracks for those two clips. At this point I can arrange and move the clips around as much as I like, so I can move Dialog 1 over there, Dialog 2 over here, let's zoom out so I can see what I'm doing, Dialog 3 is over there, and so on. You can even move the clips onto the same track if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to pull that back right down there. Notice that when you select a clip, a bunch of controls appear on it, giving you the ability to perform some of the most common audio editing tasks without having to hunt through a bunch of menus or toolbars. Notice we have our fade in and fade out handles here. I can adjust the volume or the amplitude of the clip by dragging this slider to the left or to the right. I can adjust the pan by dragging that to the left or to the right. And I can even trim the beginning of the clip by dragging its edge in, or trim the end by dragging the right edge in as well. Now if you want more precise control, you can double click the clip to let it take over the entire editor area so you can have a better look. I still have the same on clip controls, like the fade tools, the trim handles, the amplitude and the pan sliders, it's just easier to see what I'm doing in this larger view. When I'm done, I can click the back button up here, kind of like the back button in your web browser, and that takes me back to the main multi-track view again. Now you might have noticed that Soundbooth has been keeping track of all the changes that I've been making here in the history panel. This is a great feature of Soundbooth CS4 that lets you easily see everything you've done to the file since you've opened it. And if I need to go back and restore the file to a previous state, I can just click on that state in the history panel, and I'll go right back to that state. Now the history panel will remember everything that you've done to your file, even if you save your file, but as soon as you close the file, the history is gone. If you're experimenting with different mixes or effects on your project, it's a good idea to use the new snapshot button that you see down here. The snapshot button allows you to save the current state of your project at the moment you click this button. So I can go ahead and click that and choose New Snapshot. And I'll just call this Snapshot 1. And then you can continue playing around with the file. You can move things around if I want this dialog to be here, or this one to be over here, kind of overlapping. I can take another snapshot. Call that snapshot two. And then continue making any changes. Let's say I want to move that there, move that there. I want to go into dialog 01 here, maybe go to effects. I'll add a preset effect here to maybe I need to remove some hiss here. And then I'll take another snapshot. All right, now before I show you how this works, let's save the file. I'm going to choose file save. I'll just call this multi track one. Now the important thing here is to save this as an Adobe Sound Document or ASND file. Otherwise you won't be able to go back to your snapshots. And saving as an ASND file also allows you to share the file with other Adobe products like Premiere, Flash, and After Effects, and it's a lossless, non-destructive format so you'll never lose any of your original sound quality. So I'll go ahead and save this on my desktop. And now I'll go ahead and close that. And now here on my desktop I'll just double click to reopen that here in Soundbooth. Now notice that the history panel is completely empty. All of my history that Soundbooth had been keeping track of on this particular file is now gone. But if I click the snapshot button, notice that my save states are right here. And I can select any one to go back to that version of my project. So if I want to jump back to snapshot one, I can select that. Now when you do this, Soundbooth is going to say that selecting a snapshot is going to clear your current undo history, and it'll offer to actually save a snapshot of your current state. I don't really need to do that because I just opened this file and haven't really done anything with it yet. So there's Snapshot 1, I can jump over to Snapshot 2, and of course back to Snapshot 3 as well. And so on and so on. So with Soundbooth CS4 Snapshot Tool, you have complete freedom to experiment with your project as much as you want, knowing you can always go back to previous states of the file.